Hi everyone, Shaky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Uncle Brian, we're going to be doing another UK taste test. Wow, look at that. Tim, you'll be that. happy. Oh, that's a lot of savory snacks. Hello, Timothy and Timothy. Hope you're both good. Never. Here's some more treats for you to try. I put some mushy peas in for Tim. Not sure if you get those down under. Oh, Thank you very much, Brian. No. Mushy peas normally go with fish and chip. Oh, really? No. I thought mushy peas went with meat pies. No, you know. Enjoy it, UB. I'm going to start off with these ones. These are Walker's Match Double Crunch Loaded Cheddar and Onion Flavor. Oh, look at that person there. They're hanging off a cliff. Oh, it's Mission Impossible. That's supposed to be Tom Cruise. These little body hanging off the cliff there. One month free streaming trial from Paramount. Paramount Plus. Might be only for people in the UK. I think they will give you a one month free to get you in. Then you too lazy then, to exit and yeah. just have all these streaming things that you pay for that you don't use. True. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below how many streaming services you have. How many do we have? Three or four. Three. We really should knock it back though. Have a look. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at these beauties. They smell nice, don't they? They have a very thick crinkle on them. Mmm. Oh. I love the texture. I love the crunch. Are they too crunchy? No. The flavour of them's really good. That cheese and onion flavour is nicely mm. blended together. They've got a nice level of salt in them. Mm. Extremely crunchy. I almost find them too crunchy. Is that weird? Does it stick through the roof of your mouth or it something? It almost hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, put the rest back in the packet and leave them for me. <laughs> no, no, I still love the flavour. My time. Morrison's the best hand-cooked steak, ale and caramelised onion. Rigid. Ridged crisps. Almost got through without making a mistake. Morrison's the best. It's hand cooked steak, ale, and caramelized onion. Ribbed. Ribbed. Take three. Steak, ale, and caramelized onion. Rid. <laughs> <laughs> Steak, ale, and caramelized onion ridged crisps. Hand cooked in small batches and expertly seasoned. I mean, it sounds more like a meal that you order than actually crisps. That's what they look like. Oh. Oh. Hello. I'll get you out a full one. Mm. I can right. taste the steak. I can taste the caramelized onion. I'm looking for the ale. I can taste the ale. I don't know about this flavour. The potato chips themselves, the crisps, are very crunchy. It's got a lot of salt in it. It tastes a little bit meaty. Yeah, because it's, it's steak. I don't really know if I like the steak flavoured chips and the onion. I much prefer these. So they go in my pile, do they? You can have those ones. Okay, that's fair mm -hmm. enough. Do you like them? Obviously you do. I do. I want to get more ale flavour though. We'll have a beer. Jacob's Twiglet. Oven baked, not fried. High in fibre. 80% whole grain. And they're worth a pea. Is it a pea? It's, it's a, a pound. pound. <laughs> One pound. Well, it is a pea. No, pea's a pence. It's not worth a pea at all. It might be. I like the black packaging. I think that always looks classy. Oh my Ooh. goodness. What's that? Straws. They're sticks. It actually looks like twigs. Oh my That's goodness. That's why they're called twiglets. Oh, the smell of them. They smell funny. What on earth? I don't know. No artificial colours or flavours. Are they burnt? No. They taste a little bit burnt, but they're not burnt. Crunchy, savoury, whole wheat dicks. Totally original. I'll give them that. They yeah, are totally they original. are. Do you like them? They take a little bit getting used to. To me, they taste burnt. Mm. I mean, it's a wheaty, wheaty snack. Yeah, it's nice and crunchy. It's actually hollow inside. And if you've ever wanted to know what a burnt twig tastes like. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I don't know about that. It tastes what if they grow on you? Maybe they go with an ale. With a beer, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they're good for you. They taste kind of good for you, don't they? Just whole wheat flour is the main ingredient, 80%. Vegetable oil, barley, salt, and vegetable extract. Oh, oh vegetable extract. I'm tasting extract. Carrot. carrot? What? Mm. No. Vegetable extract, carrot, sunflower, and palm oil. I don't know about these ones. I don't dislike them, but I don't know if I'd necessarily... They smell funky. They smell feral. They really do. Walkers <laughs> <laughs> assorted toffees, and it's chocolate eclairs. They sound nice. Wow! Made with whole milk. Is it? Where do you, how do you know that? This is a oh. jug of milk in a little circle. <laughs> lots of different colours in there, lots of flavours. So which one are you going to try? Red one. I'm going to go for this one which is, does it say what it is on the outside? Whoopsie. Ooh, oh, there's a purple one, I want that. There's four different flavours. I'm going to have a purple one. Don't know. Yeah. Oh, look. i got chocolate on mine. Different colours. Mm. I can't bite it. Have to work at them. 
Mmm. Walkers always make nice stuff, don't they? Chocolate in the middle, and then the flavour outside is like a caramel flavour. What's your one? Chocolate on the outside, caramel on the inside. Oh! Mine's a milk chocolate eclair. Mine's a dark chocolate covered toffee. Nice. I love that little burst of chocolate in the middle there. And I do love Walker's toffees. They're lovely and creamy. Some might say very milky. This one's a banana split. Eclair. Oh! An English creamy toffee. Mm. Let's try it. Banana split sounds nice. Mm. Do you want this one? No. They look exactly the same. Mm. Can you tell from the smell? No. Oh, it's banana. Mm. It's so good. Yeah? Oh, it's so good. I thought it would be. Mm. It's not too weird and fake banana like. You know how they mm. do that really fake banana? Mm -hmm. It's nicely infused through the toffee. Love it. And it goes so well with chocolate. Like a banana split. And this is just classic toffee. Beautiful. Very creamy, very smooth. Walker's Max Strong, perfect with beer. Hot sauce blaze flavour. Tom Cruise Mission Impossible, he's still hanging on there, isn't he? Oh, yes, he is. How do you feel about Tom Cruise doing his own stunts and stuff? Good on him. Good on him? Yeah, yeah. somebody should. They all should. But then the stunt people are about a business. Then they should. That's not good. He's jumping off cliffs and things and out of aeroplanes. At my age, because he's probably... Oh, is he my age? He's older. I don't know. He doesn't look as old as you. <laughs> But he's got the money to do the Botox. He's probably had it? like all sorts of work done. There they oh, are. Okay. Do they look fiery? They do. They might be really hot. Careful. It's a crinkle cut ridge chip as you can see. Look at all the flavouring on it. Oh my gosh, it might be hot. Whoa! Oh my god! Hot sauce glaze. Oh, oh there you Gives it away that flame around the chip, doesn't it? Nice. I think you'll like these. Have another one. No. They're so hot. Like my tongue feels yes. a little bit numb. I was just about to say, it just burns straight onto your tongue. Oh, I've always said that the American snacks are really, really hot, but this is right up there as well. Oh my gosh. That's, is that too much? No. They're nice, crisp, but they're very, very hot. Like the flame says it all. So if you're a little bit worried and thinking, oh, should I get these? Are they going to be too hot? They are. They're going to be too hot. I'm telling you now. Walker's Max and they're double coated peanuts, jalapeno and cheese. <gasps> oh, yum. Now that is such a good flavor combo. Oops. There you go. I'm going to get a few of these. I think I'm going to like them. <laughs> Very nice. Really, really crunchy. It's so crunchy, you don't notice the peanuts. Eventually you do. Mm. There's a cheese in it and the jalapeno. Really well balanced. I wonder how they do double coated. Coated Coat in cheese and then jalapeno. No, they coat it and then they coat it again. Double coated. They're very nice. Recommend these ones, guys. What's good about this is that balance of flavour is mm. just spot on for Perfect. these. Perfect. Right. How good is that? Love these. See, this is why I swap sides. Oh. Because it all becomes my mm. side. Bachelor's Original Mushy Peas. And it's high in protein. Now, I'm looking forward to this. You know I'm not. Do you know what I really can't stand about the peas? The texture. The mushiness of them. And here it is promoting it. So. British grown and packed. And I've never had mushy peas before, have you? Yes. Why? Because they're nice. Do they sell them here though? Of course they do. What are we going to try them with? Get a meat pie? Brian gave us direction. Fish and chips, he said. So let's make and try these bachelor's mushy peas. I'm really excited. I'm not. Peas, please. Nothing beats the flavour of British peas. We'll have to wait and see. And now mushy peas are the perfect partner for fish and chips. So we're going to take Brian's advice and we're going to try it with fish and chips. So you can make these in the microwave or on the stove top and we're going to make them on the hob. Is that a hob? That's a stove. They don't have a pull tab. Oh my god. So I've got to use one of these things if I can remember how. Now it's going. Yes. Oh! I... Yes! Mmm, smells just like peas. Do you have a smell? No. Just put it in the saucepan. It's like mushy, but it's got solid peas in it as well. Yeah, you said you've had mushy peas before. They weren't like this. You this know, maybe must be authentic. you didn't have mushy peas. Well, maybe I didn't because the mushy peas I had is like if you had peas and you cook the bilio out of them, you just got like a potato masher and just mash them all up. Just to heat this for three to four minutes, yeah. but don't let it boil. Usually with fish and chips, we would have something like coleslaw. Yeah, Col I would never think in a hundred years to put mushy peas with fish and chips. Maybe I should turn it down a bit. Or keep it on the move. Either way, just don't let it boil. Oil. I'm going to get told off by a thousand people now. A thousand? Because I'm using a spoon on this wow. non-stick saucepan. That's optimistic to think a thousand people are going to watch our video. Hop onto YouTube and watch the convicts 
break up a saucepan with a spoon. We usually don't even eat with utensils. We usually just eat with our hands. I use a stick. So that looks like it's ready now. We have mushy peas. We have fish and we have chips. How much do you want, Tim? A huh? lot. Mushy you have most of it, hun, because I, I, I don't really like it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, is it just peas or is it stuff in this as well? Oh, more for me. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't. Just in case I don't like it, don't waste it on me. Wee, mushy peas. Bite right. itself first. Do you reckon that's pea? The hard bits in there? Yeah. Hmm. It was peas, 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 peas all the way. I don't mind this actually. I'm, su I'm surprised. It's pretty good. I have to admit. It does work. And yeah. I'm actually really shocked. <laughs> I'm not a pea fan. I don't find this as bad as normal peas. I think I like normal peas better, yeah. but these are unique and they're their own flavour really. And by unique, do you mean you'll never want to have them again? No. So you'd get them again? Yeah, I would. It goes with fish and chips. See, the peas, when they're all mushed up like that, they almost have like a buttery sort of mm. taste and feel about smooth, them. Smooth, yeah. It's not just mushy, it's also smooth. And that I'm agreeing to. Okay. I wonder if they're different here. We should get some Aussie ones and see what they're like. I don't know if we have them here. I know you say we do, but I've never seen them. Well, I've had mushy peas on pie, but never on fish and chips. And what do you think is preferable? Do you think these are better? And let us know in the comments below. A mushy pea is better with fish and chips or a pie? What have you done? You scraped your plate clean, but you still got fish and chips left. <laughs> Live and learn. So what do you got to say to Uncle Brian for introducing you to mushy peas? Thank you, Uncle Brian. I'm really shocked. I don't know myself anymore. But you know what's interesting too? The mushy peas, I've noticed the peas don't have their casings. They've got no casings. They've been decased. So you have a case to solve. I've solved it. <laughs> We've suddenly gone on a diet. These are both from Slim Fast. 95 calories. Oh, this 99 one's calories. 99 calories. Baked sour cream and chai flavoured pretzels. And this is baked cheddar flavoured bite. Get little pretzel out for you. They're quite tiny little pretzels. Mine's a little triangle. Oh, that's cute. Mm. These are nice. What's the flavour? Mm. It's a nice firm little cheddar bicky, very cheesy. Mm. It's quite nice actually. Yeah. Have a try of mine, I'll this try one of yours. Too. You can taste it, they're good for you though. Mm. Mm. I like these ones more. They're very nice. Sour cream and chive, you can't go wrong with that. And I do like the cheese ones as well. These ones are better, but they are both very nice and you wouldn't notice that they're slim fast snack. Lose weight and keep it off. Director's Cut Tasty Potato Snack Chili Twist and they've got more chili and tomato flavour for maximum taste. This is a new improved flavour. The recipe. Look at that. Hey, yeah, it looks alright. Mmm. What's that? It looks like pasta. Here. Look how light they are in that packet. Very airy. <laughs> That's different, isn't it? I like it. Certainly got the chili and tomato flavour on there. Nice. You can have one more. Oh. They're nice and salty. <laughs> they have got that little tang of tomato in there, yes. but then they've also got that chili. I really like Tomato that. gives it a bit of relief, doesn't it? From the chili. You know what's winning me over with these two? The texture. Mm. And I think you could eat through this packet really, really quickly. Love these. Delicious. That's my size. Okay. Lime and licorice Ooh. sweets. So they're individually wrapped in here, as you can see. So here they are. Do they look good? Oh, I can smell the lime straight off and look at the colour mm. of it. Mmm. Mmm. So far I can taste lime. What do you it's think? It's actually a good one to finish on. The lime tastes sparkly. Yes. Good description, yeah. I didn't sparkly. know how else to describe that. I don't know what sparkly tastes like, is it? Almost like a sherbet sort of fizziness to it. Mm. Can you taste licorice yet? No. Maybe it's in the centre. Mm. Well. I bit it in half. I still can't taste licorice. Predominantly lime. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of licorice undertone to it. Yeah, predominantly lime. 
but I'm really enjoying that lovely sparkly lime flavor. So they're a hard boiled candy sweet, very tasty. The flavor is really good. Very nice. Thank you, Uncle Brian. Thank you so much, Uncle Brian, for sending us all of these amazing UK sweets and treats. We really do appreciate it. And if everybody in the comments below could please thank Uncle Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you liked what you saw, subscribe for the next one. Bye.